What is up, everyone? This is the Big Jew. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Secret of Evermore No Alchemy Run. Yeah, this is probably going to be the final episode here. Let's go down below to the uh, to Evermore and find the thing that Doctor Ruffleberg, that Professor Ruffle Ruffleberg needs to finish uh, whatever he needs to finish there. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and. Uh, Go back to Gomi. Yeah, now we get to fly the thing that crashed in the beginning of the game. That's that's wonderful. There you go. And yeah, it's gonna be really easy to find, so whatever. What's up, Tinker? Really? Alright then. Cool. Nope, we're good. But yeah, you can get some new stuff here. Uh, let's see. There is a new formula. No, there is not. Oh well. There we go. The nitro formula. This is probably the best attack spell in the game, but you know, crush is just as powerful. So whatever. We get the final weapon, the atom smasher, strongest axe in the game, 50 attack power. But I don't care because I have the bazooka. So whatever. Alright, let's go over to the chessboard and uh, look for the energy core thing. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Okay, now I'm really going the wrong way. I'm like, no, I am not. I'm not going the wrong way. Get together, big Jew, come on. Yeah, I'm kind of worn down because I got this big test on Wednesday and uh, I'm kind of stressing out over it. It's a, it's, pretty, it's like a, it's a Spanish exam, but you know, what they do in my class is they have us watch this really cheesy and lame movie that really sucks, uh, and then we got to write about it. So that's just gonna be awesome. Let me tell you, and I gotta write like uh, about ten or so sentences about whatever prompt they give us on Wednesday, so. Blah. And it's Monday today. It's, what, the 22nd? 21st. I don't know. But whatever. Okay, you know what? It's really slowing me down here. So. Oh, yeah, let's see what uh, Sydney has here. He has Electro Bolt, which is pretty damn powerful, as you're going to find out right now. Oh, man! Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And awesome. And what in the world? Okay. What? I hate this maze. I really hate this maze. All I'm going to do is go to the chessboard, man. Or gain levels. Move! There we go. I want to finish this episode today. I want to finish this Let's Play. Come on. Get out of my way! Stupid skull claws, man. And it was over here? I think so. Here it is. Cool. Got the energy core and... Yeah. <laughs> well, also the staircase was just revealed. Cool. Yeah, if you have the Oracle Bone, he teaches you two formulas here. Force Field, which I guess protects your hero. I don't know. I never used it before. And Stop, which I don't know what it does. I don't really care. What, what can he, what does he sell us here? Nothing that I care about. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go back to Omnitopia and hand in the energy core to Professor Ruffelberg and uh, see what we can do to fight Carltron. I will see you at Omnitopia. Okay, here we are back at the uh, spaceship thing and uh, yeah, you get to uh, choose whether or not you want to go to Omnitopia, so whatever. 
go ahead and select yes, and let's go back to Professor Professor Ruffelberg. Here we go. Yeah, it sends you right to his laboratory. You don't have to go through uh, everything again. Even though if you want to buy items, you're going to have to go back to that one uh, place that I was at uh, two episodes ago. Right? Yeah. I think, yeah. And yeah, this guy, and he teaches you Energize. This gives you an automatic, uh, if you use it, uh, you charge up your weapon really fast. So, it's one of the cheapest formulas to use. I'm not going to use it because I'm just going to be using the bazooka, so I don't really care. Yeah. So, there we go. Nice. Yeah, let's uh, record the progress here. There we go. Awesome. Oh, that's right. We have to go back to the uh, power generator thing, whatever it was. There we go. And we can just go straight through now, which is really convenient of them to do. I like it. Take him out. Good shot, Blackjack. Yeah, I had him uh, charge up to level 3. Enter the thing! Thank you! <laughs> Alright. There we go, good stuff. So, yeah. Took me a while to do this. Jeez, I thought I was going to be done within a month. But apparently not. But whatever. Gonna get done now, so. Big deal, right? There it is. Alright, so yeah, you get to record your progress here. Let me do that again. There we go. And yeah, once you enter this. Once you enter that thing, you can never go back, so. Be prepared to fight. Uh, make sure you have lots of honey and lots of uh, nectar and other recovery items, formulas, whatever. Because you're going to need it. Because this is a very, very long boss sequence. So. What you got to do here is just kill those fans. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, those little pipes will spit out bombs. This is going to take a while. <laughs> there we go. Oh, watch out for the bombs here. Don't want to get hit by those. You'll get hurt really bad. Yeah. There we go. Isn't this riveting? There we go. I killed that one. I saw it. it was, I saw it blow up. There we go. Boom. Yeah, if you don't have all the uh, best armor, then go ahead and grab it before this boss fight, because you're going to need it. I promise you're going to need it. Because these enemies do a lot of damage. This boss, I don't know, this boss uh, sequence is really taxing on you. And pretty much the only way you can really beat this portion is to use the bazooka. Anything else and you're just going to have a really tough time. I mean, there's other bosses in this sequence that uh, allow you to use regular weapons, and regular weapons are actually kind of preferable, but you're going to wind up using the bazooka for pretty much everything. 
I really don't like how the game does that. Forces the bazooka on you. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. I've never taken this long to beat this, let me tell you. There we go. Alright. Almost there. There we go. And now we just gotta switch them all on. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What is this? Jeez. Uh oh. Gotta fight some raptors. Epic final boss music, let me tell you right now, man. This is awesome. Yeah, make sure you uh, don't get hit by these guys, because they can kill you in one shot. So, don't do it. Don't even get near them. Let the dog... Let the dog do everything in this fight. There we go. Woo! Yeah, nice. Nothing. Oh yeah, let that guy clean up the uh, debris. If you don't, then you'll just keep fighting raptors for the entire uh, boss. Uh, what do you call it? Gauntlet. Oh, come on. Nice. Alright, take him out! Good shots. Oh, I almost got killed there. Yes! Very good. Let's go! Yeah! Alright. And who do we have next? More raptors! Yay! Yeah, I think we'll fight like five sets of these guys, so... Whatever. It's gonna be a very long video. But I am not cutting it off in between, like, in the... During the boss gauntlet. No way. Not gonna happen. This fight is just way too epic. This has to be the best final boss music I've ever heard. It's really, really good. <laughs> Oh man, I just got my ass stomped. And I have six biscuits, very good. We need that for the doggy. I'm gonna get killed. Woo! That was close. That was very close. Boom! Oh, come on! What the hell? Take him out! Yes! Let's go! Yeah! Nice. Woo! Oh my god, I'm up to uh, almost almost 10 minutes now. Let me guess. More raptors. No, now we gotta fight Rimzalas. So, there we go. Easy stuff right here. Let me uh, heal my dog. I am gonna be using all my call beads pretty much in this fight. And, that's the reason why I have call up. Because yeah, it creates call beats, which we're gonna need desperately. You know what? I'm actually gonna use one. Oh, these are the Eye of Rimzala. Okay, there we go. 
Let me heal. Yeah, I think uh, his restore heals you to, to max, so... There we go. Oh, man! Woo! It's beautiful. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! There we go. Oh, you know what, I'm, what, what else I should do? Get myself with aura. There we go. Hold on, let me, let me uh, stop the recording real quick. Alright, let's keep going. Needs aura on my, uh, on the hero. I think the dog is gonna be fine by himself. Oh, yeah. Alright, good shot there. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, nice. I don't know what happened to the sound effects, but whatever. Yeah, aura is pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, just like the raptors, don't clean up after their, uh... Don't, uh... Don't pick up the remains and don't, or don't, like, uh... You know, whatever. You know what I mean. Or don't kill the, uh, mecha dusters that, uh... Clean it up, because... Oh. Then you'll have to fight them all over again. And that would suck. Hit him! Good shot! Alright. Go ahead and clean up the remains, Mecha Duster. Go ahead and do your job there. Don't hit him, dog. Thank you very much. Let's see what else. Let's see what we gotta fight next. What the hell? Uh oh. Clones! <laughs> Oh, but now we gotta fight the Dark Toaster, and this guy, oh my god. I thought the, I thought the Mecha Raptors were bad? No, the, this guy's a lot worse. Ho! Oh. Yeah. Ah, don't hit me! Yeah, I would just let the dog take care of, take care of this guy. Bazooka for the win, too, so. Damn it! Alright, good shot. Yes. Ah! Yes! Whoa, almost got killed. Okay. Take him out! Stupid dog. Yeah, that was a good shot right there. Come on, no! Oh, hit detection in this game, it's worse than Earthbound! Oh, there you go. Oh, that was, a, that was nice. Oh, that was, that was beautiful. Nectar there, that work. Alright. Next boss on the list. Whoa! Uh, I guess there is no next boss on the list. What's gonna happen now? Uh oh, it's Magmar! Yeah, and it's like a leveled up version of Magmar, too. There we go. But he's nothing compared to my, ult my ultimate bazooka. I still want to stay healed, though. Keep my hit points above, uh, 150. Damn it. No! Uh, whew! Almost got killed. Almost got killed, but didn't. Yeah, you can use Heat Wave. You can do a lot of damage. That's crazy. Has a ton of hit points, too. Oh my god, no. Almost got, almost got cheesed up. Yeah, you can use Crush on you too, which does a crap ton of damage. Let me go ahead and, uh, restore. I like how it has, like, a deeper, uh, sound effect for 
the full cures. That's pretty awesome, in my opinion. I don't know. Yeah! 2100 damage. That's pretty beautiful right there. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it's time to restore again. There we go. Don't be shy about call beads. Don't be shy about any recovery stuff because, you know, this is the final battle. So, hey. Got to pull out all the stops here. Go balls to the wall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That did tons of damage. Fortunately, the final boss is not that hard. Take him out. Come on, hit him. No! Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and uh, call up a call beat here. Let me go ahead and just get all the rest of them up here. May as well. Oh boy, I might get killed. There we go. Man, I'm pulling out all the stops here. Jeez. Take him out. Yeah, good shots. Yeah, the... The leveled up Magmar is definitely the worst part of this. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, because he recovered like almost all of his hit points there. Jeez. That's pretty crazy. Oh, come on. These guys got me cornered. You know what? Or a bitch. See how you like that. Oh. I can still hit you with Heat Wave, I think. Nope. Yeah, if you're aura uh, nothing really... You, nothing uh, nothing touches you for a short time, which is nice. I think, that's, I think the barrier spell does that, too. If I'm not mistaken. There we go. We got lots of more hits on him now. Yeah! Nice. We killed him. Alright, one more restore. And now we got the final boss, Carltron. And he's actually pretty easy, to be quite honest. Just hit him at an angle and avoid his uh avoid his bazooka bullets. He's doing a lot of damage to the dog. Imagine how much damage he'll do to you, so. Yeah, good shot there. Do I have any more biscuits? I do. Good. Right, nice. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. Oh, yep. Four more biscuits. Alright, so we're good. Good shot there. That's what we need right now. Boom. Some more of attrition here. Gotta revive my dog again. <laughs> Oh my god! That's alright. As long as we can stay in this little angle there. Take him out, you dumb f Oh my god. Wow, he just did a hundred damage. To me, anyway. Do I have another call? Yeah, I can. Alright, good. I'm gonna do that and uh, re energize. Actually, even better, even better. Four of both of us. Yeah. I like them apples. Go ahead. Yeah, good shot there. Yes, we defeated him, I think. Hear that, or he's uh, on his way to being dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. No! 
That was close. Man. Sorry I'm not saying much, but uh... Gotta concentrate here. If you go anywhere like past him, uh, he'll... Uh, there'll be like a bunch of explosions and you'll get hit, so... That's why I'm not doing that. I don't think I have any more, any more biscuits. I don't. I have a few petals, so I think I'll use those. I'm gonna use up everything here. I thought we had him. I thought we had him there. In that last little scuffle that we had. Fortunately, this guy has a very predictable attack pattern. It's not that hard to get hit. I mean, not that easy to get hit. But of course, I managed to do it. There we go. As long as you, like, stay in the middle, you're fine. That's pretty much what you gotta do, is just... Just start, like, on one... Just start, like, all the way on the, on the right, and then just keep going to the left there. And we'll sh we should be fine. Alright, I'm at, like, 11 minutes. I gotta stop this. I'm gonna get this guy, I swear. I don't care how long it takes me. I've already done a one hour video. I just ran right into that, didn't I? Wow. I didn't expect this to take this damn long, let me tell you. Oh, come on! You know what, let me, uh. Let me, uh. Got away from there. This is a war of attrition. You do not know a war of attrition until you've seen this. Yes! And we gain a level for some reason. That's just wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, you put up a hell of a fight. How? We already destroyed everything you have. <laughs> Metalhead. Really? Really? Oh, there you go. What a lousy robot. It was so easy to stop. Carl Trump's left the building? So what, is he gonna die on the toilet now? <laughs> yeah, what is gonna happen to Evermore anyway? Huh? Yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, wait. But the Projectomatic Zaptron Simulator. Okay. I've had about enough of this game. And I'm glad it's over. Oh, wow. Oh, so all the enemies are disappearing. Huh. That's cool. There you go. Not bad. So no en well, no more enemies, you know. Everyone can pretty much live freely and peacefully. Nice. It's a good way to end the game. Although this looks pretty damn weird. But hey, I mean... Uh, okay, what's this shaking? Huh. <laughs> really? What, all because we defeated the evil parts? Oh. There's no more balance of the world, I see. Well, we gotta, we gotta get rid of, uh, we, we gotta rescue Fire Eyes and, um, and, uh, what, what and Horus and, and, and Camella and, and, and even Tiny and, you know, and Tinker and all them, Strongheart and everybody. Evermore will never be, will be nevermore forevermore. Oh, boy. I'm 
face palming so hard right now at that. Oh my god. Can't believe I just read that. <laughs> yeah! Uh, we gotta do something, Professor. Instead of just pacing around. Your own daughter is there. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I just said that. Very good. Alright, then. I wonder if this is like the Truman Show, where like, you know, where, where the all of Evermore is like a stage, an Eigen Vector. I don't know, man. I'm just WTFing at this point. Oh, chances for success are roughly zero. Yet we're gonna sur, but of course we're gonna succeed. It's a video game ending. That didn't sound right. Oh wow, it's like a secret of mana where everything is... Whoa! Only it carries over to the overworld too. Huh. This is crazy. Man. Elizabeth, we gotta get out of here! <laughs> Uh, no, there's not torrential rain and thunder and lightning. You know what I mean? It's not sniff, it's sob. That's right, it's true. Even though she's like 40 years old. Right, because it was like 30 years after, so, you know, Elizabeth is like, must have been in like her teens. Now she's what, like in her forties, so whatever. Unless this is gonna like reverse the aging, uh, whatever it is. Now we got rescue Horus. By the way, the text you have to you have to follow the text with the uh, with the what do you call it? Confirm button with the A button or the B button rather. It's not it, it, it doesn't I mean. I guess I could just, uh... I guess I could drop my controller, because... The text is advancing on its own. <laughs> cool. Zounds! By gum! <laughs> we gotta get out of here. We can't help these people. It's because the podunkers are here. There you go, the longer we stay, the worse it gets. Oh, and they're rebuilding the, uh, statue thing. Cool. There you go. Alright then. Run faster! Turn this down just a smidge. There we go. I really wish we could do this on our own and have like a little time limit instead of having a ending sequence like this, but uh, whatever. It's cool, I guess. But here's the thing, like, oh, well, no, never mind. <laughs> that question was answered about two or so minutes ago. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Come on. Oh, God. So, wait. Who, the king said that? Or... <laughs> you can have the castle. There you go, Tinker. Later. I thought it was Tinker who said, uh, Camilla, my sweet. But no, it had to be the king. There's my crappy emulator graphics again. Yay! Emulator fail for the win. Alright. Looks like we're gonna be alright. Whoa, that didn't look right at all. Jeez. Horus! Walk faster! Faster! Oh, and here they are. 
Yep. I don't know how we're gonna get the portal, but whatever. Oh, that's right, this is a space station. It's up in space. Then where the hell was Evermore? Oh, I'll see you on the other side. Oh, God. More music, more, more pop culture references. Actually, just wait till, uh... I get a little further in Mother 2, Earthbound. Oh my god. Alright. While we dragged them over here, I would assume that we were... would be going in here first, this whole area. Or whatever. There we go. That's what I thought. Yeah, forget about the kitty. Leave my leave the other blackjack alone. It's tired of being chased by a toaster dog. <laughs> and we land right in the middle of the city, absolutely. That's crazy. Oh yeah, and the dog is back to normal. Yay! Cool. Everything is normal now. Huh. Yep. Well, I don't know about that, but whatever. Like I said, it could it could be like the Truman Show. Where, you know, it was just one big stage. Oh, wait. You're fucking kidding me! It was like the Truman Show! What the hell, man? Oh, God. All right, hold on a sec. All right, we are almost done now. Yeah, new adventure begins in this real world. Where, you know, you'll just have some 9 to 5 job. Oh, that's right. These guys are from 65. <laughs> oh, it's like Austin Powers. This before Austin Powers, we had Secret of Evermore. Only these guys all grew 30 years. Yes, that's the ending. Awesome. Let's re let's let the credits roll. I kind of like doing this LP, but not really. I mean... Oh, there's crappy emulator graphics again. Yay! Uh, I mean... Secret of Evermore is one of three video games that I played a lot uh, in... Uh, 1995 and 1996. Guess what? Excuse me. Guess what the other two are? Yeah. So, and of the three, it has, in my opinion, it's actually the worst. But, uh, it's a good game. It's not, it's not great by any standards, especially by late 90s, uh, super standards. I mean, this was made right before 96. So, I mean, whatever. I take it back, this is one of, uh, we'll say, maybe, I want to say five games that I played, from 95 all the way to 97. It was this, uh, Mother 2 Earthbound, um, and then, you know, guess what the other three were. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, the graphics of this game are pretty good, I'd give them like a 8 out of 10, I mean, everything looks nice. You know what I mean? For for especially for 1995 Super Nintendo graphics, they look pretty solid. So I don't know. Uh, the story I'm gonna give it a four out of ten because this was made right after. Oh, I'll just say it. It was made right after Chrono Trigger. Oh look, and Ted Woolsey. It had lots of Woolsey was a part of it, so it has Woolseyisms. <laughs> uh, I mean this. This game was made right after Chrono Trigger, and you could tell that it was like a poor man's Chrono Trigger. Because Chrono Trigger, you know, you're going through, you know, lots of time issues, uh, lots of time periods and everything like that. And in this, you're just going through like four places on a world map that reflect different stereotypes of time periods. Uh, I mean, it, there's not much depth to this game at all, and I don't know, I mean, 
it, I mean, the, the characters don't develop at all. Like, your hero is just like, blah. And, you, and your dog is like, okay, you know, silent protagonists, which I hate. I despise silent protagonists with a burning passion. But only game where it really does work, only two are Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest VIII, but we'll go into that later on and when I play those respective games. Um, yeah. Uh, for the gameplay, I would give it a 6 out of 10. A little bit above average. The hit detection in this game is piss poor. Oh my god. Worst hit detection ever. Let me tell you. Oh man, is it bad. Uh, but, I don't know, I mean, the alchemy thing is pretty cool. You get, you know, you get charges instead of, uh, instead of MP. This music keeps looping, though, so whatever. Uh, which I thought was a pretty good idea, a good concept. Uh, that you had to buy your spells. I mean, it's similar to Final Fantasy 1 in that respect, so I liked that part of it, but... Like I'm saying, compared to Mother 2 and Chrono Trigger, you could tell it was a complete... I mean, gameplay-wise, I mean, you know, Earthbound Mother 2, it's like Dragon Quest, but we'll com I'm comparing this to Chrono Trigger, which Chrono Trigger, far and away, better than this game when it comes to gameplay. Uh, oh! Ending screen, and oh, hey, what is this? Huh. I never got, I never, uh, never let the, uh, ending drag this far. Yeah, no, yeah, no more plans for world domination, man. Because world domination is bad. I didn't know that Professor, Professor Ruffelberg, uh, fixed, uh, Carl Tron. Uh-oh. Yeah, of course, of course, of course he would do that. The end? <laughs> oh, let's see, more review of this game. I'm going to do the, the best part of this game for last. The music. The music in this game is amazing. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It is really good. Really underrated music, too, because everyone wants to talk about Final Fantasy VI and Earthbound and and Chrono Trigger and Super Mario RPG for the best music, but uh, nah, Secret of Evermore has some pretty amazing music, uh, especially the final boss music. Holy crap, that is epic, epic music right there. Uh, you know, I also like a few tracks from uh, the Antique Era where you're in Crustacea and everything like that. Good stuff, the Pyramid, all that. So overall, I'd probably give this game about a 7 out of 10. A little bit above average. Um, I mean, compared to Final Fantasy VI, Super Mario RPG, and Chrono Trigger, and Mother 2, Earthbound, it's definitely, of those five, it's definitely the worst, but in the realm of video games altogether, made, in 90, made right before 96, it's pretty good. Uh, so there you go, that's the end of Secret of Evermore, no alchemy run. <sighs> that was crazy, that final boss, I'll tell you. Uh, future plans. Right after this LP, I'm going to start doing Chrono Trigger. And I got some great plans for that. I'm going to keep doing Dragon Quest 3, Dragon Quest 4, and Earthbound. So, you get, you know, I'm doing, I have five recurring Let's Plays that I'm doing. Uh, why do I do that? I do that because I can only record at certain points of the week, preferably the weekend. So pretty much what I'll do is I'll upload everything, you know, uh, during the week, and you know, wait for the comments and and views to come in, and then I'll record on the weekend. That's usually how things work. Uh, also, if I have some free time like I do now, I just have like an hour to kill, so... Shoot a Let's Play, why not? And I want, to, I want to pretty much wrap this game up because... Yeah. 
I really want to knock it out this way I can start doing Chrono Trigger. Uh, what else? There are a few secret, uh, secret stuff I can get in this game. I will probably show those off in some bonus episodes, but, uh, don't hold your breath, because, I don't know, I mean, I really, I'm really excited about my other projects aside from this one, so, there you go. But you will be seeing some bonus content next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore No Alchemy Run. Hope you enjoyed all this. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.